Today I'm going to give you some tips on setting up your digital SLR. There's a lot of different complicated options in the menus. I'm going to go over some that I think are useful and to help you get started shooting. All these cameras have the ability to customize your own picture setting. First we're going to go over the picture look, which is the sharpness, contrast, noise, and saturation. Second, we're going to go over the white balance or color temperature. And third, really important one, protecting the clips you actually like. Straight out of the box, most of these cameras are very sharp and over contrasty. The first thing I recommend is to reduce the sharpness and reduce the contrast as well as the saturation. When adjusting your sharpness and contrast, you're going to go into the menu set button. You'll go down to the second little camera icon. You'll go to film mode and I've made a custom preset for my film. You're going to go down to the very first icon you see and that is the contrast. It's usually set to zero. I reduce it down to negative two. Next one sharpness. I reduce that to negative two. The next one saturation. I reduce that to negative one and the next one is noise reduction and I reduce that to negative two. If you don't do any of these changes, what will end up happening is your look's going to be too sharp. You're going to have a lot of artifacting, possibly aliasing, and other thing is that you're going to have a really high contrast look, a lot of crushed black. So all this does is, is it'll help you later for flexibility in editing and in post to do the right colors, to do the right exposures, to get your picture the way you want it. When shooting skateboarding, it's typically really bright out, so I use a neutral density filter to help get the look that I want. When you use a filter, I feel that it makes the image a little bit softer. So instead of being at negative two sharpness, I'll take it to just zero. If it's not bright out and I'm shooting in a, a low lit situation, I'll take the filter off, but I make sure to turn the sharpness back down to negative two because in camera, these cameras and the sensors are extremely sharp. You don't need any more of that. Camera has a ton of different white balance presets, such as indoor, outdoor. All they are are measurements of Kelvin. You can find the Kelvin in the very last symbol on your white balance menu, typically. I prefer to dial in the color temperature manually because you get a lot more range than using the presets. There's little icons next to it that represent what the camera thinks is best for the situation you're in. I usually use 46 Kelvin in the daytime, and depending on what kind of tungsten lights or fluorescent lights you're using, whether it's in a skate park or indoors in a home, I usually go anywhere from 32 Kelvin to 36 Kelvin. This is all personal preference. It's all what you feel looks right. So mess around with it and see which one you think is best. And the last tip I have for you is to show you how to mark and protect your clips. It's really good for keeping organized and it's also really good if you're in a bind to free up some space on the card of the shots that you don't like. We all know in skateboarding situations, the skaters never wait for you, so you gotta be quick with this stuff. So when marking a clip on a GH2, you hit menu set button, you go down to the last icon, which is the play symbol, you scroll down to star favorite. You click right and you select single. And the moment you record something that you like, you hit record to stop recording. You hit the play button and then you push function three or just the down arrow button. That'll end up putting a star on the top left corner of your recorded image. Now that image is saved and locked basically. If you're in a bind and you want to delete a bunch of things off of your card to make room, you simply go into play, you hit the trash can icon, you go all the way down to delete all, select delete all, you go down to all delete except star. Once it's all deleted, everything that's saved are all the clips that you had starred. But be careful, double check, make sure that the clips you really want are the ones that are starred. Don't go throwing away something that you forgot to star. You can't get it back. So when you're protecting your clip on a Canon, it's a little bit different. You're gonna go into the menu. Five icons over on the menu, there's a play button. The first thing you see is protect images. The next thing under is select images. And you get a little key sign. That means your clip is locked. 
So what I do is the moment I record something that I like, I hit menu, and I have my menu button set to that area, and all I have to do is hit select image. At that moment, the clip's locked, and I know that I'm not gonna erase it later, which then means that if I needed to delete something really fast, I can delete the entire card. It's actually called erase all images. You can erase all images, but it's not gonna erase the things that are locked. But be sure you lock the correct ones. So those are my tips for you. Hopefully they help you out. I learned a lot of this stuff just through trial and error. I, I went out, I experimented, I went through the menus up and down, did all the wrong settings, did all what I thought were the right settings, came back home, looked at them, figured out what I thought was best. My advice to you is to do the exact same thing. There is no wrong or right. It's all personal preference. It's whatever you think is right. But go out there, have fun, experiment, and find out what you like the most.